Hey guys, SuperFilmFreak69 here. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to export video out of Adobe After Effects. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to get Adobe After Effects for free, well, go over to my channel and check it out. It's amazing and it's free. It's like a thousand dollar program. And also, if you watch the tutorial that I made, you'll also get any Adobe product, CS6, the newest one. So Dreamweavers here in Photoshop. This is legit. Please go check it out. Check it out before this video when you see it, because you need the program. But if you've watched it, or if you already just have it, then stay here. Alright, so how do you render, or how do you export out a video in After Effects? Well, there's no export video setting up to the top, like on iMovie, where it says share straight to YouTube, straight to QuickTime file. It's not that easy. You have to render it, and then that's exporting pretty much in Adobe language. So open up After Effects. All right, now make a new composition. Okay, I'm gonna call it YouTube Tutorial. All right, if you know what your frame rate is then put it in but I would usually put that's the default 29 but I know mine's 24 in this video so then okay I'm gonna import my footage alright import your footage YouTube this is it alright and I'm gonna right click which is control R and on the Mac and right click new composition so it's gonna fit straight to the comp you don't have to worry about resizing and losing quality so go straight to the comp now this is my video I'm gonna make a video on how you do tracking like that with how you did hello YouTube right there I'm gonna make a video on how to do that but for right now this is how to export it so that's it that's straight right there um, so now you have to click composition add to render queue then you go you click this lossless up here click QuickTime and the way I'm showing you right now there's many ways you can just leave it like this and press OK but the way I'm going to show you right now save storage gives you the best audio and video quality and pretty much you go to format up here where it says QuickTime click H.264 and that is as I know of that that's what Blu-ray players use so it's it's good that's the the format that blue blue play Blu-ray players use alright um okay don't learn this the hard way like I did if you have audio on here I don't but if you have audio in your video make sure to press this button or else you will not get audio when you render it out I don't it's probably gonna take longer if I click that but make sure to press this button alright so click format H264 then click format options and keep it on VBR one pass just do it and then change it to these settings where it says if it's closed like this open it up VBR one pass keep target bitrate at 0.7 and make maximum bitrate at 1.2. This is the best. It's going to save storage. Don't question it, just do it. If you don't like it, then you don't have to do it. But if you do it the way I'm saying, you won't like it. It's the best quality. Trust me, just do it. Okay. Make sure if you have audio, press it. But I don't. Okay. And export this. Do whatever you want. I'm going to do desktop. YouTube tut for export alright then save it and render time alright um, if your video is long it can take a long time but I think mine's like uh, seven or eight seconds I really don't know but you can see it's not quick so just wait it out go drink some hot chocolate do whatever you want it could take a long time, I'm telling you. 
but it's worth it. This is the best way. Alright, now it's rendered. And that's it. I saved this to the desktop, it's right here. This is, if you shot in HD, this is the best way. Here we go. That's the video. And I'm going to show a tutorial on how I did the 3D text layer right there where it said, Hello YouTube, a tutorial will come soon. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.